Tonight, a six on your side scam alert. Con men are trying harder these days to fool you into giving them your bank account information through a text. It can lead to a quick withdrawal using a wire transfer. Mike McKnight talks to a victim and bank officials about who should be on the front line of protecting our money. She's filed a police report, but fraud victim Jackie Fyle wants backup from a credit service that deals with banks after discovering a withdrawal never authorized. And I turned around to my husband and I said, I think we've just been hacked or we've been something's happened to that 20,000 that was in your account. The money wire transfer came after Jackie answered a call. It said on my phone, it said Wells Fargo. Though adamant she didn't give the username or password for her account, Jackie says the scammer sent her a series of texts with numbers that she was supposed to read back, and that may have given them the authorization code for a wire transfer. The CEO of Nebraska Bankers Association says that's a red flag. What we're seeing right now is that the, the bad guys are getting really, really good at it. Um, and they're starting to do things like use AI of people's voices. Jackie tells her advisor from Nebraska Debt Relief that she reported to Wells Fargo an unauthorized withdrawal of $20,000 the same day. I'm trying to find out why they couldn't stop the wire, why they couldn't get it back when everything was done within 24 hours. I have not. And if they couldn't, I want to see their conditions of why. Again, it, it depends a little bit on the bank, but um, some of those things are so automated now that you may or may not see that kind of a transaction. A Wells Fargo spokesperson email states, we do all we can to support scam victims. After a comprehensive investigation, the findings will be shared with the customer. Jackie oh, says she's right. waiting to hear if the bank will reimburse the $20,000 loss to the scam. We certainly went over there with enough time for him to, to do a stop on it and it was gone. Bankers say it's not just banks, but customers who need to protect their accounts from fraud. Don't trust caller ID. Uh, we, we see that those numbers are spoofed uh, quite often, meaning they're pretending to be from a trusted entity. With help from a Nebraska debt relief specialist, Jackie File continues to seek reimbursement, but she's learned a text claiming to be from a bank should be deposited in the delete folder. On your side, Mike McKnight, 6 News. Wells Fargo says no matter how quickly a customer attempts to recover funds, once a wire transfer is sent, there's no guarantee the funds will be returned. Wire transfers are immediate and typically cannot be reversed.